you're late. There, I gotta fix the car. Five more minutes, and then out. Where you got it? What do you think? Then give it. Seems you're a professional too. I wouldn't have been here if I wasn't.
what am I supposed to do? What do you know? You know, in another 15 minutes, we would have been home and dry in our destination. So, what are you talking about? Maybe we've got to the end of the road. This certainly doesn't look like a hacker to me. Yeah? Maybe we'll just put up a sign. Welcome to Port Hackett. And then we'll go to bed, okay? Hey, baby boy, you've got to do something. What do you want me to do? I'm not Jesus Christ. Even a dad, he was a carpenter, not a mechanic. You know, I never imagined this junk would get this far. Then why did you try it? Well, it's hard. This can't be fun for someone. So what are we going to do? Maybe we'll just hang around and make friends with some monkeys! <laughs> and probably make grandchildren for our parents! My friend, stop that joke and dream of a way out of this jam! Okay! Watch me. Come on, that's no car. My father abandoned it years back. Look, if we succeed in moving that car to Perhakot, it will turn to a liability. So let's just move on. Are we going on foot? Please, you ask too many questions. Uh... Just a few kilometers away. What's going on with me? Um, hi, um, we're heading towards the haircut. Um, I heard it's not so far from here. Are you going our way? Yeah, but uh, why are you dragging the lady along? The That's none of your business. <laughs> All right, uh, sorry then. Um, but I'll tell you something, man. It's not a right way to treat a lady, you know that, don't you? Yeah, but please don't bother. She's got balls, okay? Really? All right, um, listen, yeah, I'm heading towards your direction. Put Harcourt? Yeah, Put Harcourt. Yeah, come on in. Hop in. Oh, thank you. Man, you got excellent imagination, you know? Exactly, are you stopping where we get to Potaka? No, 
nowhere. Did this shit know where? Yeah. Oh boy. But come on, man. Can you think of it, man? No one gets to a city and doesn't know where they're going. You just seen one, Mister. So where are you going? <coughs> well, um. Nowhere. <laughs> well, that makes the three of us. Oh, well, um... So, let's get going then. Staying here? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess, sir. I'm gonna be here for the next two days and I'm moving on. Well, um. Come on, me. Would you like company? What? I mean, how'd you mean? I mean, Lucy here. It's a very excellent. Hey, 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 listen, my friend. This is a hotel, okay? But you never can know, do you? I'm sorry, but you? I'm sorry. Just wanted to say thank you, man. Sorry. Keep it wonderful, you know? I am. Uh, I mean, we have been on adventure, some kind of adventure. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm Bona, and um, this is Lucia, my girlfriend. Oh, right, great. <laughs> well, or uh, you could call me Diggis. You gotta go with JP.
I never told you. I slept light. Now you know. We'll talk about this in the morning. gonna do is this uh, pen knife I mean you were gonna kill me with this right for less than 40,000 there hmm? I'll talk to you tell me I um uh, I mean we are very sorry you know for everything we're really sorry you know how hard the country is right now. I I mean, Lucy and I are so deeply in love and there's been nothing for us where we came from, you know. And we had to bolt out of town to see if we could get something, you know, somewhere else, like in Port Hackett here. And then the car my father gave to me you know, packed up on the highway and she came to rescue us, you know. I know you've been good to us. We're really very sorry. Because um, after all that happened, after everything, we had just 1,500 Naira left with us. And you know, in a town like Port Harcourt, it's near suicide, you know. Really sorry. That's interesting. So... For a little sum, you wanted to kill me, right? Honestly, um... Uh, if you went that smart, I would have killed you for a lot less, you know. Hmm. That's a quite interesting. Well, um, for six months, I have been searching for my partners. And who would believe that I could pick him up in one swoop on their um, Enugu Potaka Expressway? Hmm. Shut up! You think you've had a joke with you? Now let me tell you something. 
from this day on the two of you become my prisoners or rather should we say uh, <laughs> partners you stick to me like super glue hey you get it until I call it quits after the show time Well, um, like I said, we're partners now. In business? Well, yeah, business. What business? Discovered a formula. What formula? The key. That key that unlocks the rich man's safe. You have? That's right. I think I'm beginning to like you some more, man. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> a special obituary announcement. The death has been announced of Mr. Gabriel K. Otumba, whose side event took place at about 9.45 p.m. this day, 20th of September 2004. Sorry, I think there is a mix-up here. This obituary announcement says today. Jesus I'm Christ. very sorry for the Sorry for the What's the meaning of all this? My own obituary on the television? Ha! What is happening? Hell! Someone should tell me what is going on. I'm going to sue this television house.
fucking else happening? Well, perhaps, sir. The technology's caught up with the Almighty. <laughs> That's very funny. Was that how Zeke felt watching his own obituary? Mm hmm. Perhaps. Who are you? The executioner. The what? You heard me right the first time, Mr. Gabriel, A.K. Otumba. Hey! Rest in peace. Hey! Hey! Rest in peace. Hey! tomorrow. Where to? I've got a new place, you know, a moderator and our less expensive uh, in a remote area. Why? Why quit here? Well, because it's expensive, it's in the city, and it's undesirable. Hey, who's here? Yeah. You're gonna go to the daily Ranger's newspaper company tomorrow, and you're gonna ask for the commercial manager. You got it? You give him this. Obituary? Oh. Yeah. That's it. You lost somebody. Oh, we're so, I'm so sorry. You didn't tell us. Oh, what a pity. Well, um, it's all right. I don't even know it myself. Anyway, you tell him this must be next tomorrow's edition. Get it? Get it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. But, but, what? Don't you think the commercial manager might? Laugh at her face. Oh, she doesn't know that person there. <laughs> well, it's got a beautiful face. Anyway, he went. We're paying. Money talks. Bullshit walks. We got it. Don't forget. What? Get your feet out of the way.
blessing. My future is a big shall never end. Jesus Christ! Helen! Helen! Yes? Please come, 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 come. Come. Okay, come and see. Look. Look. Jesus Christ! Is this a joke or what? You call it a joke? Somebody somewhere wants to take my life. Who wants you dead? Do I know? They said you died by 8 p.m. on the 10th of November 2004. And today is, today is 10th. But if we may believe my wristwatch, it is 8 p.m. No. It is not your portion, my dear. It can dear. never be my no. portion. No. My enemy, it never. Now, it will never work for you. It will never Back work. to send on Jesus' name. Yes. It's not your portion, my dear. Not my portion. Abriki is boarded? Yes. For a few hours ago. So? Yes, something very unusual over here. What? I came into the car. I saw a paper pasted on the steering. I written. Your husband dies at 7.45 p.m. Take heart. The executioner. The what? The executioner. The executioner? What kind of crap is that? I thought it was a crap. It's a crap! That's a crap! Mark, do you recall that both Chief Gabriel Otumba and Mike Otmos' death had that bag? What are you talking about? It is three minutes to 7.45 p.m. Mark, are you alone in office? I'm alone. The accountants have left. The secretary, all the workers have gone. Oh God. Please. Please, for my sake. Will you make sure nobody comes to see you until I send some policemen up there? I, I don't think it's necessary, okay? Oh my God. I said for my sake. Please. All right. If that will make you happy. Um, but I tell you, you are wasting time. I will rather waste time. That become a widow. <laughs> Rachel, remain quiet. No problem. I'm safe here. Okay?
this thing, man. I think it is, man. Wow. Check out what I got here. Come and play, you Joker of the Year. It's all good, but you wait. Fourteen signifies wait. Twelve. Lost card. Check. Check. Oh, come on. Sorry. <clears throat> you shuffle then. Oh, just a minute, honey. Sit yourself. I'm going to have my bath. Chief. Are you asking me, are you? Someone is killing up people in my neighborhood. Are you asking me? Okay, calm down, Chief. Please sit down. Please sit down. Sit down and calm down, please. Please. Calm down. Please. He calls himself the executioner. He's killed four prominent men in my neighborhood and he's breathing free. What exactly are you doing? Mrs. Chief, we have gone through her, trying to unravel this new menace. Uh, the problem is that the rich in our society live a life such that the police are absolutely helpless when it comes to delicate matters of this magnitude. I don't seem to understand you. Mrs. Chief, from what we have gathered, 
the killer who calls himself the executioner notifies his victims well ahead of time but none of these people has uh, deemed it necessary to contact my department I am contacting you now This morning, about 45 minutes ago, where? It was taped at the back of the passenger seat of my Lexus Jeep, just as I was about to go out with my driver this morning. In your house? Where else? This is very good then. Good? God in heaven. What is good about this monster marking me for that? Oh, huh? He's given us days ahead, <laughs> so we will we'll nail him very soon. You had better nail him, Mr. Commissioner. I'll get your business coach immediately, okay? I will not have to talk to you about this again. But if you love your job, <laughs> I will not want this monster to get at me. Look, you have no problem, okay? You have no problem at all. Uh, he, may, he may try to strike, but I doubt if he will. What was that strange noise I heard around the gate area? Quickly! Move it, move it! Right away, you, sir. I don't want to remind you that your wind is most likely. Okay. They're in trace, sir. For every giant, there is a giant killer. They're in trace. Anybody here? How are you going to bed? Don't worry. The police are all over the place. They can't do anything. I'm ready for them. Yes, I said I am ready for them. Let them come. No, no, no. You take the children to bed. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
in town, he calls himself the executioner and seems to have a grudge against residents of GROA phase 2. In just 10 days, five prominent millionaires have all died from his bullets. Just last night, a crime reporter Nasi Agu Brown encountered the state commissioner of police and he has this to say about this so-called self-styled executioner. He is real very, very real. He has killed five prominent men within 10 days. And just last night, he killed five of my best men, including Inspector Richard Cole. He calls himself the executioner. Yeah, one thing is very certain. He is a top marksman and professionally thorough. But that notwithstanding, we are not going to relent in our efforts. We will nail him. And very soon too. Oh yeah, very soon. Bonner. Now we go into business. What business? Come here. It's called the fear business. Please enlighten me, man. Yeah, I will, but just get the bottle of brandy first. Go get the brandy. Sure. <clears throat> Yeah, there you go. <coughs> <laughs> 
You know, <clears throat> the name's Prezer. Some you squeeze, they focus. And some you squeeze, they fold. Get it? achieve me in the commissioner? Sure, sir. Then he knows I'm on vacation. <laughs> I think your vacation is over, sir. What do you think doesn't matter, Ige? Unfortunately, the chief thinks so, too. What the chief also thinks doesn't matter. Yeah. Nobody gets away with thinking like this, and you know that. Listen, during my vacation, I think whatever I like. You got that, Ige? You got that? The chief wants you, sir. Tell him I'll consider that. With due respect, sir. He says now. Listen, what the hell does he think he is? God? God? In his position, the boss would be God. Damn. And you know it, sir. Damn. Inspector, the chief instructed us to bring you down. Even if it means by force. In case you put up resistance. Wait a minute. Am I, am I under arrest or what? Tell, what what's going on? What, what's going on here? Is it Tony? Full us to the office, sir. All right. I'll be right back. The execution is here. Pay your money, make you live. out there in uniform, sir. It's just, it's just that you just don't like seeing me have any idle moment. Well, I haven't seen any. Oh, but, sir, there's Marcos, there's Peter, there's, and there's Igwe, all of them my superiors. Why me all the time? Well, read this. Since the days of Oyunusi, Lawrence Anini and Shino Rambo, we haven't seen something like this. Another cop hater? Not exactly. This guy picks his victims 
warn them days ahead and at the dot of the hour he strikes that sounds like the jackal <laughs> he calls himself the executioner the what? the executioner damn the reputation of the police forces at stake and you are the only one that can handle this uh, yes sir I do think I should cut my vacation short now. That's better. Django is meaner than mean, harder than hard, harder than far. So it's meaner than mean, harder than hard, harder than far. Police came everywhere, looking for a man they don't know. Everybody leave. You say you are the law? Certainly. For your confirmation. I'm Inspector Dan Lukwa. He's a uh, Sergeant Tige, Matthew Tige. I see. So, what can I do for you? Editor, exactly seven days ago, you published a living man's obituary. Mind telling me about it? But your colleagues have been here severally to ask me over and over. Let's just say that I didn't read the file. <clears throat> so what do you want this time? Everything. First, how much did they pay you? to publish a living man's obituary. I have explained all these things to your colleagues. It is a piece of obituary placed in our commercial department. We don't go about investigating whether the person is living or dead. You shut up. Mr. Editor, who are they? I mean, your customers. The men that brought the obituary piece, who are they? Where do they live? And you sound very funny. It is not also our business to go about verifying the address of our customers. You are not answering the question he asked you. Answer the question. I take exception to you people coming here to harass me every now and then over a piece of uh, obituary placed on our paper. If you are not in any way comfortable by my explanation, you can go to court. Period. Editor, I will be back. You get Let's go. You get to hear all the crap he was saying? I did, sir. <laughs> I did, I did. Waste of time. Waste of time? No. Man was lying his head off. <laughs> How did you know, sir? Yeah. Six cents. You get six cents. Six cents? When you have it, you make a good cop. And when you don't? You make a bad cop. Like Super Marcus, Peter, maybe even Igwe. <laughs> don't let our superiors hear this up, sir. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Brickwall, Chief. What have you got? Sir, what have you got? They've gone underground. They? Yes. There were at least three of them. Two men and a woman. That's fast work. On the instincts, Chief. Instinct. 
give me your instincts any day and save your facts. But something worries me though, Chief. The gang only seems to have a grudge against those, uh, the rich who live in GRA phase two. We knew that. Well, did you also know that all the victims were board members of Golden Bank of Africa? Now that's the twister. You can act on that. Yes, but uh, there's absolutely nothing to go with now. Why? The man and, her, the man and his group have gone underground. Uh, they're home and dry now until they strike again. Until it strikes again? No. That won't happen. We won't let that happen. Jungle is meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard. Said it's meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard. Police men everywhere, looking for a man they don't know. Everybody leave in fear, them so afraid of jungle. He walks around with the gun, bullets on his chest. He's a very dangerous killer, the police cannot arrest Shango is meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard Said he's meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard If you play games with him, you're living dangerously If you don't pay the money, he will kill you without mercy if you look at his face, gonna make your body shake If you play against with him, you make a very big mistake See, Django is meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard Said he's meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard Django is meaner than me, harder than hard, harder than hard Do you want to stay alive? Well, I guess you do. If so, and follow the following instructions. Put two million naira and five hundred mink notes in your Ganymus gold bag and carry it to my two the bus stop along Borakiri Road at exactly twelve midnight. Drive along the bus stop. Watch out when the touch light is flashed twice. Then drop the bag through the window and increase speed. Do this tonight if you want to see tomorrow. But of course you may not want. Nobody tells you not to contact the police, but if I were you, I'd ask Chief or no one for your executioner. Please, 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 leave me alone, Linda. Bessa, you just said I should get the five. Oh, get out! Get out!
please check with the accountant. Tell him to raise two million naira from my personal account. Please. When do you want it, sir? Before the close of work. Mm -hmm. Is all right, sir? Yes. <laughs> sir, what about the file? Yeah, yes, yeah, give me, give me. Uh, one more thing. Please tell him to raise them in uh, minutes. In five hundred naira, please. Mm -hmm. all right. All right. Here, you've got some runs to do in the morning. Bonner, you're going with her. Sure. Manny, 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 get out of here! Manny, 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 gotta get my hands up to me. I got you now. Woo! That's right. Now move it, man. Here, keep this full. Because it's God sent, isn't it? Come here, baby. Come on. It's Diggers is executioner, isn't it? What? Where the hell did you get that from? Isn't he? So what? What do you call me, huh? A log of wood to be told when to open her legs or bend her waist? Hey. Don't hate me. I live here with the most dangerous killer in the whole world. I don't even bother to let me know about Keep it. your voice down. Why? Because you're missing the point. I am missing nothing. What if the police called while you were away? What if I was cornered by the SSS? I mean, what if... Just stop it. Ah, stop! You call me an idiot, right? <clears throat> Listen, baby. I didn't tell you because I was afraid you would bolt away before the dough started rolling in. Should have tried me. Didn't want to take the chance. I can't do without you, baby. And you know it. You brought me to Pahakot. I couldn't have left you as well. Diggins is the executioner, okay? I mean, he said we're gonna make a lot of money. He doubted him at first, but believe him now. And where did the money come from? Hey! That's one question you shouldn't ask me. Why? Because you're not going to get an answer for that. Not yet. 
ค่ะเลสต์ของชื่อและบัญชีบัญชีและสินทรัพย์ที่ไม่ถูกต้องของบังคับคุณใช้เงิน150,000 ในบัญชีของคุณที่นี่ half a million ดอลลาร์500ล้าน The way you share it, it's not my business. But just remember, from now till I call it quits, you repeat the same circle every 48 hours. Every 48 hours? Yes. Listen, you share half a million naira from each consignment, and you pay in a hundred fifty thousand naira into each account. Got it? Um, but won't the bank be suspicious? No. Not when it's not more than the stipulated half a million naira authorized by the NDLEA. Look at this. Shoot. Why would you entrust me with everything you worked for? Because this is a fraction of what we are all after. Get it? So I ask you, why would a smart guy want to double cross over an uncertain penny for a few pounds? Hmm? Uncertain? Yes. Course, no one double crosses diggers. Stays alive to enjoy it. No one. Good night.
is the work going today? I just want to let you know that I'll be coming back very late tonight. Why? We are having management meeting. Eh, eh, management meeting with your secretary. Stop that, Alice! Ah, this is serious that they're talking nonsense, girl. It's all right. It's all right. When are you going to be back? Uh, between 12.30 and 1 a.m. That is pretty late, honey. Because it is pretty serious. Okay. Just know I'll be waiting for you. I'll try to be back on time. Darling, you know I love you so much. Please take care. Eh? Okay. Towing van. Thank God. This is the best I can get, you know. Um, supposing we split the stakes down the middle. Which stake? What middle? Machiman pays us 500,000, right? Yes. Yeah, so? And you give me a paltry 100,000. You call that paltry? Listen! 100,000 naira converted to any currency in the whole wide world in 24 hours is not paltry! Yet you claim that you love me. Sure I do. No? Then show some love! Hey baby, what's eating you up? I didn't just fancy picking up crumbs while my sweethearts feed fat. So, you want everything? I never said everything. So what are you talking about? 50, 50. You must be out of your mind. Am I? Certainly. Listen, why I take the damn risks out there? You cool your pretty head, snoring and, and having fun in La 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 Land and your sweetheart is out there in the bush with just a flashlight for company. You're kidding. Yeah? Listen. When I go out there for the dough, I expect to be grabbed from the back. Grabbed? I mean, why? Lucia. This bread doesn't roll that easily, you know. I mean, I don't fancy diggers and it's 1.5 million naira take. Neither do I. So, why do you envy me over a mere 400,000 Naira? Huh? Okay, I'll go now. Jungle is meaner than me, harder than heart, harder than heart. Said it's meaner than me, harder than heart, harder than heart. Listen to people looking for a man they don't know. Everybody leaves in fear. Them so afraid of Django. He was around with the gun. Bullets on his chest. He's a very dangerous killer. The police cannot arrest. Django is meaner than me. Harder than heart. Harder than heart. Said he's meaner than me. Harder than heart. If you play games with him, you're living dangerously. If you don't pay the money, he will kill you without mercy. If you 
you look at his face, you're gonna make your body shake. If you play against the team, you make a very big mistake. Say jungle is meaner than weed, harder than hard, harder than bar. Say this meaner than weed, harder than hard, harder than bar. Jungle is meaner than weed, harder than hard, harder than bar. Say this meaner than weed, harder than hard. Boner. The manager of the Rue 100 branch, the All Stars Bank, said only $145,000 paid in. Why? No, I told him! Um, and I, we, um, uh, I, uh, I we, am. Well, the car broke down, man. I didn't know any mechanic around there, so I had to go get a towing van to take it to your personal mechanic. But no, that cost five grand, man. Let me tell you something, Boner. Next time, you carry some money with you, okay? I mean, extras. You know, it's a dangerous train to fall out of character. And I'm not ready to quit yet. So please, don't force me. Get it. Get out of here. So he calls each bank. He's no fool, Lucia. And make no mistakes. Tigas won't be taken for a ride. You can say that again. Um, can't you pack it off here to a more comfortable accommodation? Not yet. Listen, Diggers says he's not quitting yet. <coughs> and neither am I. Puna! Yes? Have you ever thought of yes behind bars? Or the high measure going around your neck? <laughs> Why should I? Because it beckons if we step out of turn or get unlucky. Why should I step out of town? Bona, crime is a game where you get unlucky every now and then. One day, something might go wrong again. Boom! Yeah, boom! Listen, until then, you don't rub it in, okay? Um. Supposing we quit this game. <laughs> and wave all these sweet lollies by? Why not? Come on, baby! <laughs> it's better to stick to a fraction and live to enjoy it than grab the hole and die in hell! Wait a minute. You expect me to walk up to Diggers and tell him, Hey, I've had enough. I I'm okay now, you know. So I quit. You're on your own. Just what do you think he'll do to me? That son of a bitch will certainly pour bullets in my head. You don't need to tell him. So what are you talking about? Okay, um, we pretend we're going to the bank in bolt. Old? Sure. Sweetheart, are, are you out of your mind? Just how far do you think you would get? A guy like Diggers will fish you out and fix you wherever you hide. Then we'll go back to Enugu and see how he traces us. No, 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 no. I am not willing to take that chance, okay? Then I'll walk out on you. <laughs>
grab me the stick and scram. Take his money too. Why not? He wouldn't miss it. <sighs> Didn't you listen to him the other day? The son of a bitch missed a mere 5,000 naira. And you're talking about 1.5. If you want me around, hey, are you going for a party or something? Well, um, I Lucy and I just want to go out to do our rounds and then. Go out and spend some money. Of our money. I mean, your money. Your money as it is, you know, but you gotta be careful how you spend it, you know. Good rainy days are here. Let's look at you. You're already overblowing. We gotta go now. Come on, baby. See you later, Digas. Bye. Jesus! Jeez, Digas, what are you doing here? You scared the hell out of me, man. Well, I didn't mean to. How, how did you get in here? Oh, you forgot. It's my car and I've got the spares. Anyway, let's get down to talking serious business. You were supposed to pay some money into an account in that bank. My account. But instead, you went in there and withdrew all your money in your account. What's the plan? I am, um, I mean, actually... Oh, uh, please shut up. You know something? Just drive home quietly. And don't forget, I have a gun handy here. I also know how and when to use it. Just don't ask questions. Take this back. Driving to Rumoko before the bus stop. Then take the first turn by the right. You will see two flashes of torchlights through the back as of the window. Increase speed and come straight back home. 
Have I been a good day? Yes, madam. Go there. Yes, madam. Please make sure you get there before 12 minutes. Okay? But madam. Stop crying! In the morning? I mean, what kept you, me? The wicked soul didn't show up. Well, how do you expect me to believe that? I swear by my father's grave. How do I even know your father is dead? Call hell. The devil himself will confirm it. Hmm. So your father never made heaven. How could he when he didn't do what he was supposed to do for me? I knew that daughter of a bitch wouldn't budge. You know, nothing ever goes perfect when a woman is involved. So what do we do? We're saying that to hell like your father. That will be tomorrow. No. Right away. Now.
He struck again. The executioner. I'll be right with us. I'll be right with us. Yes, I did. Uh, now listen to now. I know the rules, okay? But you've got to cover me up this once, please. But sir, what are you talking about? The auditors. So? I know they are due tomorrow. But I haven't paid the two million naira. My deal failed. And I am stuck temporarily. Never mind. In two weeks' time, I will clean the slate. But, sir, I am the chief accountant. I know. That is why I have asked you to cover me up. Come on, Tina. I know you can do this for me. Okay. Sir, you. I recite the banking <gasps> ethics. Oh, I know morning. all that. I know all that. Look, I'm the MD of this bank. That I know very well. Now, have I ever stepped out of tune? Financially, I mean? No, sir. But this, this. Have a look at this. It was my life on the line. So I decided to save my life first. What? But this is certainly a horse. Tina, you seem to be the only person in Port Harcourt who hasn't heard about the executioner. The executioner? Yes! Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? You know what? I hate thieves. Especially those who steal from their masters. Believe me, sir. It was mere curiosity. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. You want me to believe you? You killed the woman. You killed her. I swear I never did. She only told me to take the money to remove the bus stop and throw it out of the window. Was she out of her mind? Was she crazy? Sir, I swear. That's that's what what she told me, sir. So you came back and pumped bullets into her, right? <laughs> How many times will I tell you, sir? Don't ask me questions. questions. Yes, sir. I am not going to let you get any session. Hey, I am yes, going to kill you yes, very soon. You move one more inch. I will blow your head to pieces. Shut up. Hey. I'll let you bleed slowly to death. You will be a painful death. Please, please, don't give me that, please. Sir, I will not say this, sir. Please. Hey, sir, 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 please don't kill me, sir. I think he has. Sir, if I, sir, I've never done that before in my life. Please don't kill me, sir. I think he has. Please, I will not say this. Sir, please, please. 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 Sir, please, Sir. In there, sir. Yes. Is the two million naira that the Relu gave her driver to, to pay the executioner. And here, sir. The executioner's note. He wanted the two million naira in brand new 500 naira notes. He wanted them to drop it off uh, somewhere in the Borokiri area of town at about midnight. The driver was not supposed to stop. He was just supposed to drop it in motion and then zoom off. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get by these? Well, <laughs> instinct and luck. You know, sir, that the best detective is the lucky one. The instinct and luck, you, you, you solve your cases. When I saw the woman's driver's sweaty face, I instinctively knew that there was something. I went after him, and he led me to the money. At 
first I thought he killed her, but on interrogation, I he convinced me that he didn't kill her. <laughs> this thing also made me organize a thorough search of the woman's home and her office. I uncovered this note, and I put two and two together, and I knew that this is the executioner's racket. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, sir, something still strikes a rhythm in all of this. This woman, Madame Erelu, was also a director of Golden Bank of Africa. Sir, uh, it seems to me that this man, the executioner, is out not only to make money, but also for vengeance. I see. I think you're right. Now concentrate on the Golden Bank. Plant your money there. Yes. Spread your dragnet. And get me that maniac. My new name now, Match Your Man. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Well, um, you could call me whatever, but uh, I'd have preferred you called me, um, Money Man. <laughs> anyway, um, why don't you have a girlfriend? You know, oh. I've not seen anyone around. A what? A girl, a woman. Well, um, <clears throat> I don't need a girl, I don't need a woman. Everybody does match it. Sorry, money man. Women could be some cruel things. Dog somewhere in the middle of the earth. But still, they make man's best companion. Everybody needs a woman. Um. Oh, sorry, or I'm alright the way I am, okay? Um, I'm enjoying that term. <laughs> I really don't have problems, man. Honestly. Wow, guys, I'm back. They dropped me! <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's it going? Hello, What's up, man? Hello, yeah, sure. That's why I alerted the police, sir. And he paid? Of course he did. And that has put the bank's account in a terrible mess. I'd like to see your boss. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, please do not involve me. 
My job is at stake here, sir. Better your job than your life. Martina? Yes? Martina, sir. Ah, ah. He was your boss. It could be you the next time. Or any other high-ranking officer of this bank. You know that? Great. Well, madam, we are taking this along. Of course, we can take it. I have enough copies of it. Right, you good. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. Uh, Mr. Obada? Yes, sir. You failed in your duty of informing the police of such criminal threat. <laughs> and a deadly threat at that. Inspector, I treasure and value my life much more than the two million naira in question. Honestly, I was scared silly. I lost every composure. So I couldn't have thought of uh, reaching the police or anything like that. I see. Anyway, never mind. Uh, what exactly happened at the drop site? <laughs> Nothing really, except that I saw the two flashes of light. And as instructed, I dropped the bag and sped home. Mm. Nothing happened again. And uh, I pray God that it remains like that. That's okay. Um, but uh, from instinct, would you say there was only one person or more at the drop site? I wouldn't really know, Inspector. Honestly, I don't remember anything else. I said I was G3. You see, I wasn't thinking right anymore. So I hurriedly, you know, left for home. Okay, uh, Mr. Obada, um, but if you do remember anything, you will call me, yes? Of course, yes. You have my number? I do. Mr. Obada? Yes, please. Have a great day. Yeah, thanks for your kind sentiments. Messing with me. I. You dirty pig! You should have gone out to look for your own woman, Diggers, if you're getting hurt! Like I said, your woman was the one getting hurt for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Every woman gets hurt if the guy is rolling in dough. You should have gone out to look for your own woman, oh, Diggers! Jesus Christ! I mean, Bada, what the hell is going on here, huh? Why don't you cut this goddamn bullshit? Come on, man! All right. I'll lay here, man. You know? Yeah! And what's a big deal about that, huh? She's not married to you yet, is she? Oh, is she? Man, cut off this goddamn high horse crap, man. Give us some news about what's going on out there, man. You know what? You stink, niggas! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Come here, man. <laughs> Get out. Joseph! Ah, Joseph! Any luck yet? Uh, no big break yet, sir, but we are covering good ground. Good. Just get with the bastard. You bet, sir. Sir!
please listen to me, Bona. Don't shut your dirty trap. Honey, I, I can't explain. There's nothing to explain, goddammit! I did it for our sakes. You must be out of your mind. No. By using what I have to get what we want. Do you know what I think? I think you're sick! I mean, what do you take the world and its women for? Bonnie? Huh? That there are enough. That every guy gets his own woman. Jeez! There are enough out there to go around diggers more! Oh, get it up, Bonner! I mean, we got a smooth record ball in here! I ain't gonna let no woman of Eve come and smoke it away just like that! Damn! Well, I'm sorry, you know, you feel so bad about it all. Just like one who's lost his father, but I promise you. You know all. what? It would have bled less. of the Romala branch of uh, Golden Bank of Africa, sir. Good. <laughs> now, we've got to round up the drop site as early as 11 p.m. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Um, uh, you have anything else in mind? Well, sir, I, I just said to myself, sir, that if I had this beautiful kind of operation on my hands, I... I would only send an unimportant member of the team to to the drop site if something goes wrong. Just grab him and force him to take you to their hideout. Uh, simple. Uh, Very simple. Sir, what if he or she is too tough to talk? Or maybe they had a prearranged signal. Maybe one of them could even be looking from afar with binoculars. We, we round up the site, but we tip off our hands and lose a big fish. Uh, sir, this is a professionally set up operation. We catch the small fry and we start all over again, sir. That's why. So, what do you intend to do? Uh, I will follow them to the hideout, sir. That's okay. That's all right. I'll carry on. You're joking, Dan! Dan, you're joking! You are joking, Dan! Aren't you? Uh, sir, this this gang is extremely thorough and professional, sir. Nonsense! How did it happen? How did it happen, Dad? How? Obviously, the collector uses two vehicles. He he dumps one and changes over to the other. How? 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 Yeah. Dad, how? Well, a, a mechanics workshop is is a changeover point. 
Then seal it off! Seal it off, Dad! Dad, seal it off! If, if we do, sir, I, he'll just dump the car and we may never get another chance. You see? You see, Dad? There you go again! There you go again! So? I, I will stick out the, mechan the mechanics workshop, sir. My bet is he will continue to use the same car, at least for the next collection. If he, if he knows that we're not onto him. Okay. Okay, Dad. Just get me that bastard and get out of here! Get out of there! Baby, I got the door. We gotta go now. Jesus Christ. I gave you millions! Huh? And all your director is walking away with my money. Yeah. Did you ever imagine that the person who planned this whole smooth take couldn't be taken for a ride easily? Take this man. You didn't have to do this. I thought we'd been through all this before, man. Really? Because of this tart. You screwed up the sleep operation. Bonnie, you even led the police to this place. And now they know here. You know all. You sent me up with a whore. I didn't. I, I didn't, man. I don't have second thoughts. Of what? No, dig it. You're not gonna do this to me, man. No, no, no! Oh, 
Five million naira each in ten banks, sir. Um, but I've given instructions. Wherever he draws, I step in. Good. Lucia has been very helpful in that area. Very good. But just make it snappy. I will, sir. Uh, that's why I'm recruiting Lucia. Recruiting who? Lucia. You must be out of your mind. Sir, uh, you know what I'm doing, sir. <laughs> I think we might have something, sir. What? A certain Mr. Steve Wachuku, one time manager of the Bini branch of the bank, was arraigned for fraud. When? Five years ago, sir. And? Sir, the man died about three years later in detention, just about three months before the presiding judge found him innocent of all the charges. How does this connect? Well, the man had a son who lived in the United States of America then. Uh, he was expectedly very furious. Uh, the bank tried to make peace uh, in the form of uh, cash compensation. Nonsense. Let's not to death. Exactly how the son felt. Uh, and he expressed to the bank when he wrote to them. He told the bank to go to hell and he threatened to deal with them very decisively. Good. I wouldn't blame him if he gets a smart attorney to press his charges. Well, sir, he didn't get the usual attorney. <laughs> Meaning? He got a most unusual attorney. A sniper's rifle and a telescopic sight. Just how does this connect? How, Dan? Huh? 
The man in question, the dead man's son, is Clive Wachuku. Oh, I still can't make it out. Can't make it out. Can't. Okay. Clive Wachuku and the executioner are one and the same person. No, you talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, nobody had ever seen the executioner at the bank. But the picture of the father that I had seen tallies with Lucia's description of the executioner. Nice job. Nice job, Dad. Nice job. Dad. Nice job. Thank you. Nice job. Thank, you. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, so uh, what clues do we have? Well, there is his mother. Uh, she still lives in Enugu. Then fetch her! Listen, a man like that would come out of hiding if his mother is held. Not when he's wanted for multiple murders, sir. And he knows anyway that we will set his mother free. I know. Most of these professional cranks don't reason properly when they are squeezed. Oh, yes. They don't. Perfectly, sir. But uh, I, I plan to stake out his mother's house in Enugu. Uh, he's bound to show up. And when he does, no matter how well disguised, I'll have him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think it's a long shot. I'm prepared to wait, sir. <laughs> okay. Approved. Okay, sir. Thank you. Done. Sir. I'll show you that I'll tell the accounts department to approve anything you want for you in terms of finance. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's all right. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Yep, so how does it go? Sir, it was an absolute waste of time. Uh, we conned every inch of that city. The man never set foot in Enugu. Oh, that's nonsense. Look, go everywhere. Go to all the cities in this country. Go to Abuja, Lagos, Beni, Kabuna, and everywhere. Don't tell me that guy is invincible. <laughs> Sergeant Matthew, right sir, head to the airport, we'll be there soon sir, okay. Come 
Make your body shake If you play 